were just street cops until they teamed up with Sharky and became Sharky's Machine. Seven ladies. One's got her hooks into Hodgkins, and that's the one the department won't let us touch on. Doesn't that tell you anything? Thousand bucks a night. Is that right? Is that what they get? I want to watch it. Found the clock. Who? Domino with an E. Domino. It's a waste, you. Busting hookers. The last casualty they had in Vice was a suicide. <laughs> the hell are we doing? Well, we're here to... I'll make it short and save you for tea. And real quick, guys, uh, on my channel, I have a number of what I call story time videos where I tell little stories about the first time I saw uh, certain films that kind of made an impact on me. Um, so I'm not going to make a separate video for this. Since this was a short video, I just thought I'd mention this real quick. Um, Zorro, 1940, The Mark of Zorro, starring Tyrone Power and Basil Rathbone, also starring Linda Darnell. Uh, Gail Sondergaard, um, you know, classic uh, Zorro story. I have very fond memories of watching this. I, I remember, like, the whole thing like it was yesterday. We had a ranch-style house with a fireplace. We we moved the TV to, like, the living room area eventually, but we, we had the TV near the fireplace. I was watching this with my parents. My mom made uh, these uh, cinnamon rolls with the... the vanilla icing with the icing um and i remember just being so like captivated by this it's basically you know a classic uh good and evil story uh with a showdown a great uh but you know somewhat brief uh 
duel at the end between Zaro and uh, um, Captain Pasquale, played by Basil Rathbone, who in real life was was probably the best fencer in Hollywood. You know, back then, all a lot of the actors knew how to fence, uh, just like the same way in Hong Kong. You know, all the so many of the actors knew some uh, martial arts, even if they didn't use it in every role. Um, but Basil Rathbone was one of the best fencers in Hollywood, was probably the best fencer uh, at the time. So it's not quite realistic that, that he loses to Tyrone Power, but uh, that's what happens. Uh, there's a great moment uh, right before uh, Pasquale gets his comeuppance. You know, uh, Tyrone Power has a great line. I won't say what it is if you've never seen it, but I remember like being on the edge of my seat and I remember my dad even like, you know, like, kind of waiting for it. You know, there's there's a little give back and forth as they're having their final duel and uh, just a great family adventure. I'm sure the pacing for some people might be a little slower than modern films and it might not capture younger kids the way it captured me because of the attention spans, but highly recommend it. Give it a try. I can't wait to rewatch it. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Later.